everybody, this is Pete for Just Dance Chicago and SportstownChicago.com. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Roberta. Hey guys, it's Lori with Just Dance Chicago and SportstownChicago.com. So high above Again, for Just Dance Chicago, we are here at the MTV Pre Presents Randy Jackson's America's Best Dance Crew Auditions here. And you can only find it here in Chicago. They're practicing all around us. They're having a good time. We're going to interview some of them. We're going to talk to them. We're going to see some of the routines, get the background information, as you can only find here on Just Dance Chicago. You know I'm not going to stop. What's up, Chicago? It's me again, Lori, and I am with the one and only dance crew all the way from Canada, the Union. What's up, guys? Good. So, like I said before, all the way from Canada, how long did it take you to get here? Uh, it took us maybe six to eight hours at the stops and stuff. Yeah, we, yeah, drove, it, we, drove. we drove here. So what you're saying is you drove all the way from Canada to come to the America's Best Dance Crew Auditions live in Chicago. Now, we were talking earlier, it's pretty cold out here, it's about zero degrees. How cold is it in Canada? Well, from where we are, from Toronto, it's the same temperature. So it would be zero, negative one. Or, do you guys go Celsius or Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Oh, cool. Okay, we do Celsius, so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I have no idea either. I would it's, right, it's, cold. So it's just as cold, it's just as cold. I think even still. maybe, it probably is a little bit colder here. Just yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. wind, wind Wind doesn't help at all. <laughs> it's cold. Needless to say, it's cold. Now, speaking of the cold, what are some of the things that you guys do to get warmed up and pumped up for a big show? Um, running Man, of course, gets us warmed up. Um, wobbles get us warmed up. We um, just like to do a lot of stuff that doesn't have anything to do with dance, but still gets our blood going. Um, jumping, like jumping's our favorite. Like gets our legs going, and um, we like to laugh. Laughing gets our Oxygen. Gets the heart all warmed up, gets the chest pumping, then and then we stretch. Well, you heard it here first from the union on how to get warmed up for your big show. Do a little wobbles, right? We're going to laugh a little bit and have some good times. And stay tuned for more right here on Just Dance Chicago. I rap, so tell me what you do. New school voodoo, go get a blues clues. But her taught me the people's elbows. If I'm done, I tell her, don't be stepping on my shell toes. In a party, I can hold my drink. Yep. Lame ass bros throw up in sinks. What? Come pace with an ace, no cake. But I get baked, watch another remake. I'm birth and words, automatic labor. Dives a shifty, manual haters. Vaders, prepare your dark forces. I laugh at you comics on your dark horses. Bright size, two fly, so stop. Just Dance Chicago here with one of our two female crews that we are seeing right now. This is TLC. How are you guys feeling? Awesome. Yay. We're excited. And Cassidy, you are kind of responsible for founding this group, right? Yes, I am. My mom owns a dance studio, and so we've all been dancing there this past year, and we've become really close. You know, I have to say that I'm just happy to find a crew that is the same height as me, even though I've got, like, big, yeah, shorties in the house right here. So, ladies, how do you guys feel being here today? Do you feel really confident? It's just, like, it's an experience that, you know, we just want to take and live in, you know, just fly by the moment. Just do the best we can. Do the best we can, yeah. yeah. Just have a good time. Have a good time. All right, and I am noticing some fancy glitter going on on our faces. I want to know a little bit about that. Work it. Who, who is responsible for coming up with this idea and the whole idea of your look, your costuming, your hair, everything? Well, tough love clue. <laughs> we wanted to be tough but girly at the same time. So this is our own take on, like, war paint. So. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, we're tough. <laughs> like how army... And football teams, you know, they do yeah. face paint. It's kind of gets you in the same feel. Yeah. We're tough, but. Very cool. And you on the end right over here, the quiet one. Are you the quiet one? What is your name? My name is Brandy. Okay, Brandy, do you have, like, would you say a signature move or something for your crew that you guys like to do a signature trick? Or maybe something that all the other crews out there don't do? I would say turns. We aren't usually a breaking crew, but. We're mostly jazz, and we got it. Yeah. I love it. They bring the technique. TLC is bringing the technique here. So you guys think you're going to be America's Best Dance Crew? Yeah. We know it. Just Dance Chicago!
with Just Dance Chicago on SportstownChicago.com. We're in a league of our own right here today with MTV and Randy Jackson presenting America's Best Dance Crew. We have, these guys are outstanding. We were watching them warm up. Eight count, they are here with us. Let's start off, I'm gonna walk like this really quickly. Say your name. Hi, my name is Sam. My name is Crystal. I'm Tiffany. I'm Q. I'm Claudia. I'm Jan. I'm Sabrina. And they are here auditioning today. What is the song you are gonna be auditioning to? Actually, there's a mix. There's a mix with four songs that we've been working with, with like uh, past few weeks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's like different styles. You can have hip hop. There's like, more girly stuff and yeah you'll see it's pretty cool how long have you all known each other uh, the crew has been created five years ago some members just arrived last year some members are there like since the beginning but uh, we're like a pretty close family where are you all from Montreal Canada coming here we thought like it would be hotter here but actually it's really cool Montreal is known like to be the cold city no, Chicago is. So what is the one thing that separates you, that makes you just that much better than all the other crews here today? I think with our hard work, dedication, and like professionalism, we can like show you that we're really cool. And don't you like to see guys wearing pink? Like, I mean, Ali, hey, girls, enjoy it. You're listening to Just Dance Chicago. All you dance fans, I am Roberta with JustDanceChicagoRadio.com, and here we are with the executive producers of America's Best Dance Crew. We have Howard and Karen Schwartz. And what is a little bit, you know, tell me about how this whole thing got started. You know, everything's dance. We really want to find all of these talented dancers. Tell me a little bit about your vision behind this whole show. All right, well, we, um, Karen and I, got started about 10 years ago developing the idea for uh, what we have a company called Hip Hop International, which uh, uh, behind Hip Hop International is the United States Championship for Hip Hop Dance, as well as the World Championship for Hip Hop Dance. And uh, once we got started with that and the whole world got behind it and people started following dance crews, then came America's Best Dance Crew. And then with America's Best Dance Crew, everything broke open. That is true, and you have had so much success with the Jabberwockies and crews in the past. What are you looking for for this season? What are some of the Chicago dancers, even, that have caught your eye? Well, we're looking for something different. We're looking for a crew that's going to blow us away, give us goosebumps, and we're very excited because Chicago and the Midwest has always been very strong, and and uh, we're, we're hoping to find some talent, actually, from the Midwest because... America's Best Dance Crew tends to have stronger crews on the on the West Coast. We want to see the Midwest represented, hopefully this year. This season. Want some Chicago flavor in the house, huh? Absolutely. And do you have any advice for dancers who maybe try out or just getting started in the business and maybe haven't made it, but they really want to continue their success? Well, I think so much has to do with, with confidence. It's not just how well your feet move and your body moves, but it's really how you project yourself, especially for a show like America's Best Dance Crew. We see so many uh, crews that come here and dancers, and we are about crews. So you're, you're dancing individually, but at the same time, we need to see that there is something that keeps you all together. So for your uh, audience out there who are just getting started, and if, some, and if a dance crew is in the future, we're saying to make sure that you bring it bring it together as a team practice a lot make sure you dance as one and at the same time one big mistake that we always see everybody is they don't perform enough they can do the technical moves but presentation and performance is so much especially in front of millions of people when you get in front of a television camera well, that is really amazing advice heard straight from the executive producers, Howard and Karen Schwartz. Thank you so much for being with us. We are Just Dance Chicago. We're the Bad Crew.
Hi, Lori C's here from Just Dance Chicago and SportstownChicago.com. We're here with America's best dance crew, Judge and choreographer, Napoleon Diomo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And thank you for having us here. Now, there are so many dance crews that are coming in and out today. What are you looking for here in the Midwest that sets us apart from anywhere else in the country? I think we're, we're looking for something different. I mean, we're in season six now and we've seen everything, crews of every style. So, you know, every year there's, there's a new dance style and a new trend that comes out and we're looking for the people that embody that. You know, something that people are gonna, that's gonna wow people and make you wanna stand up and get off your butt and vote. Absolutely, now I've spoken to some people before at So You Think You Can Dance, um, Glee. Now, they have always told us that it's not just about your talent, but also it has to do with your heart and your dedication. Do you feel that that's true? Yeah, I think it has to do with heart, dedication, and I, and I really think that being on a television show has to do with performing. It's, it's all about performing. I mean, if you, if you take, for instance, uh, where dance is going, which is hopefully, you know, dancers are being stars now. They're, they're being put to the forefront of everything. They're not just backup dancers anymore. And, and you look back at Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire and how they commanded, you know, a whole audience through, through television. Uh, I, you know, I think that's where we're going and you have to be able to be a performer. If it's just about the steps, I don't, I don't think people will feel it. But when, once, you, once you get people involved and you either, you make them cry or you make them laugh or you make them get excited, then, then you know, then you're, you're there. Absolutely. Now, Napoleon, you're a dancer and a choreographer yourself. Who are some of your biggest influences? Hmm, I have so many influences. From I grew up in the in the '80s era, so you know the b-boy and and, and pop and a lot of the guys that were really big at that point were were big to me but me and Tabitha are, are big uh, uh, musical theater geeks so of course we love the old movie musicals and things there's so many Michael Jackson's another one who you know he's the one who really got me going on dancing watching his videos he was a big inspiration now I have to put you in our three question hot seat we like to do it with <laughs> all of our guests okay. on sportstownchicago.com three questions three answers real quick number one what's your nickname Nappy. Number two, what movie makes you cry? Ghost. Really? Yeah, and Notebook. The Notebook. He got Notebooked. <laughs> she made you watch The Notebook, she didn't she? She makes me watch all of them. <laughs> and number three, who would win in a fight? A polar bear or a gorilla? Gorilla. You heard it first, right here from Napoleon at America's Best Dance Crew auditions here in Chicago.